do stuff. Okay, so uh, let's start one sentence at a time. Here's our first sentence. What does this say? あ、ホテルどんがゆうゆうと兄弟でる Oh no, that's the forgot about the other sentence. ゆうゆうと えっと This means sky. Mm. Do you know what sky is in Japanese? Mm, sora o. Yep. Sora o yondeiru. Close. It's not yo, but it does have an o sound over here. Any other guesses what fly might be in Japanese? Uh, tobu. So, yep. tondeiru. So, what does that mean? Right. Putteradon ga yu yu. So, pterodon, mm, flying effect, to, clouds. Mm, oh. Sky. Sky, sorry. Sky. Oh. Uh, tondeiru. So flying in the sky with a yu yep. sound effect. Yes. So yu yu sound effect kind of means leisurely. So you can kind of assume that it's gliding rather than like flapping like a hummingbird. Next sentence. Mm -mm. We can read the next sentence. Testing, testing. Oh, I'm ah, back. There right. you go. For some reason, I disconnected. Hi. <laughs> Happens to me all the time, too. <laughs> mm hmm All right. Um, Jinan ni. Jinan ni wa kyodai na. Uh, jedaya? Jedaya? Tsuijaya? Um, tsuda. Tsuda. Right. Tsuda. No, you're right. It is she. She da. Sorry. She da. Hi. She da. Um, se no dakai kusagawa or kusagaha iteiru. Hai teiru. Hai. So, um, she da means fern, which I think you don't have ferns near where you live, but it's kind of like a foresty, like, plant it's kind of like what if grass mm. had like leaves it's kind of what a fern is it's like a so it's not a weed it's very much a lot like grass but it has uh leaves leaves yeah kind of what a fern is so we have ferns yeah and kusa what is kusa kusa hmm kusa sounds like kasa but it's not. Yep, it's not an umbrella. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really random. Um, Kusa is actually grass. So we have grass and ferns. Um, what do, what what did the grass look like? Seno takai kusa. Seno takai. So the back is long. Yes. Long back. So even though se means back, Seno takai is really just a way in Japanese to say tall. To just say the height of something is tall. It's, it's just how they say that. Mm. It, it, so directly translated that's a little bit confusing. Um, How about the fern? What do we know about the fern? The fern. Uh, kyodai na. Kyodai na. Kyodai na. Most important uh, part is shida. this kanji. Um. Then we have the fern. Shida. Kyodai na shida. Do you think Kyodai we have and... some small fern or do you think we have big fern? Oh, it's the kanji from Oki. Yep. So it should be big. Yep, it's the big fern. I think you're getting a little bit confused with the word brother, which is kyodai with a long kyo. So, kyodai with the long kyo is, is sibling, and kyodai short is big, very large, humingus. Um, so, what are the fern and the grass doing? They're doing a haiteru. Haiteru. 
Um, haiteru means to enter, but I don't think that's it right. It can. There. That'd be hai with an e. Haiteru. This is hae. Haiteru. Hae with an e sound. So haiteru means to grow. Haiteru. To be growing. Mm. So the so very tall grass and huge ferns are growing where? In the jinan. Yep. Do you know what jinan means? Mm. I did at one point. The kanji so, looks very familiar. It should. So um, this part right here is a very common kanji. It means like earth. Or ground. Mm. Oh. And then I... men means surface. So earthy surface is just the ground. Like that's how we just would say. Ground. Kimen. So this also shows up in like chizu, which would be map diagram. I mean diagram of mm. the ground, which would be map. Um, so here's our next sentence. This one's quite a bit longer. うん。あ、おかがいて、おかがって、たたがって。うん、川がねて流れる遠くにはもうもうと煙をいや、煙をあげる。うん、火山が見える。はい。So hey. first off, what's this word? Uh, Does it have two ta's right there? Oh, I misread it. Tani. Yep, tani. Do you know what tani means? Tani. I do not. Tani means valley. Um, how about this mm. verb? What's this? Uh, une, unette. Yep, unette. unette. So unette is kind of like this. It's kind of windy mm. format. So if a kawa is going uneru, it's going to look kind of like that. Versus, you know, some commas will be like vroom, straight down or something. Hi. Like, dudes. Um, so right here we're describing a location. First off, okaga atte. What does that mean? Okaga atte. Okaga atte. Is it like separate words or is it just one? Well, oka is a noun. And then we have ga, the particle. Then we have the verb mm. adu in te form. So the oka exists. Exactly. The there exists there. a hill. Yep. So oka means mm. hill. So we have a hill. What else do we have? Tani ga atte. Tani ga. Tani ga atte. So there's also a tani, which, yep. what was the tani again? Oh, no. was valley. was a valley. Mm. Yeah. So we got hills, valleys, and we got a kawa. What's a kawa? A kawa is a river. What is the river doing? The river is... Unette. Unette, so it's zigzaggy. Nagarete. Nagarete iru. Nagarete iru. So mm -hmm. all rivers, all of them will nagareru. Otherwise, it's not a river. Otherwise, it's a dried up river or something. Um, they flow? Yep. Nagareru means to flow. So it's flowing mm -hmm. in a windy way. Um, And then we have tokuniwa, which is like tokuniwa. in the distance. We have a kazan. Any idea what kazan might mean? Kazan. It has like this word de kanji, but it's not de. And it uh fire. that's a good guess. So de looks like this. So you have to have a second mm. thing right there. This right here is actually the mountain kanji, yama. Like Fujisan. Mm, yama. So we have mountain. Fujisan. And then do you recognize this part? It shows up in Tuesday. I believe that's fire. But it I is think fire. It wrong. What What do you think a fire mm. mountain would be? A volcano. So, so, yep. So, kazan means volcano. And then we got some kemuri. You know what kemuri means? Kemuri. Kemuri. Mm. So, it's not a cloud, but 
Camera could cloud. be something to do with the cloud, maybe. Meta- in, in a way, it depends on your definition of cloud. But Kazans, volcanoes, make Kemuri if they're active. Smoke? Yep, Kemuri means smoke. What direction is the smoke exiting from the mountain? I get it. So upwards. <clears throat> yep, it's going upwards. So what does Miri mean then? Miri, so I guess you could just see all of this happening. Yes. So we can see a volcano with some uh, dense uh, smoke coming out of it in the distance. We can also see um, a river that's winding around and there's a valley and some hills. Okay. So this is the next part. I. Ah, koko wa doko nanda? Jack ga. Awate, futani te, uh, utta. Oh, uh, close. So the verb is iu. That's the dictionary form of the verb. So any other guesses how you might read that word? Uh, it's not utta. Utta is not right either. Utta? It's actually just the e. E is what's kept. The u Etta. is what all dictionary forms of verbs end with an u sound. So whenever we change it, whenever we conjugate it, so it looks different, the U is going to be dropped in all verbs, all of them. Um, mm. So even like taberu, for example, taberu ends with an U sound. That's going to be gone. So it becomes taberta, for example. There's no U left over. So U, which is E, and then U, the U is going to be deleted. So we're just left with E. So ita. Mm. Yeah, what does this mean then? Koko wa toko nanda. Jack ga awatete. So awate futamaite ita. So where is here? Where are we? Yep. Jack awate. So Jack said. Well, the said's at the ita part. And the other two parts are describing how he says it. Does he say this in a calm, huh? Where are we? Or does he say this in some other kind of tone of voice, do you think? Mm. In a shocked, surprised yes. kind of way. Awateru means to be in a panic, and futame neku means um to make a ruckus. So he says this basically in a panic. Mm. He makes like a big to do about this. Where are we? Um, so what happens next? <clears throat> Butter don ga uh, my ori dekita. My ori dekita. My hint is that the putter don before this was flying in a uu kind of way. Now it's mm. going to my ori do. Most important part is ori do. What do you do? So it's kind of descending. Yep. Or it going is. Down. It comes down. Yep. The my just lets you know that it's not just boom, boom, like like an airplane falling down and crashing. Instead, it's more of a do, 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 do. kind of like if you drop a piece of paper, the way it kind of goes down would be in a my or do kind of way. It's just kind of a low gets down there in its own time very nice and safe normally a little bit mm. uh windy but does like windy but it doesn't have to be windy um uh so next sentence three house no aru uh katsu no bon no nemoto nemoto made Nemoto made. Mm. Oh, Nemoto made. Mm. Ori, ah, oite? Good guess. It's actually the kuru kanji. That's the kanji for kuru. So it's actually kite. So when kuru to come is, is like part of a word, like right here, it's being telling you like where something is. 
it's not going to have kanji but when it's just on its own it tends to have kanji that's to show the difference between when it's acting as like conjugation versus not so right there is just kite. Mm. Kite. Kite sono mama jito or jitsuto? Uh, jitto. You're right. It was jitto. Jitto. Jitto shite iru. Nice. Um, so right here, this isn't t. So the I saw someone showed this to me and it makes a lot of sense. So if you connect this like this, you got a she right there. Versus if it was two, two would be like this. So if you connected it, it would go mm -hmm. like that. So, so someone pointed that out to me and I was like, oh, that's a really helpful way to remember the difference between she and two. So you can see she we actually two. have hmm. a two right here. So you can see that the Hi. line kind of goes like that versus like this. So that's a she and this right here is a two. So kashi. Uh, kashi is evergreen, and it's a kind of what? It is a kind of ki. Yes, which is, is a, a tree. Kind of ki. Um, nemoto is really just the base of the tree. It's basically where the roots are, but not but not the roots themselves. Just like that bottom area of the tree. Um, what kitad to the bottom area of the tree? It's mm. not written in the sentence, but it's insinuated by the context. Um, the putteradon. Yes, the putteradon. Exactly. And then the putteradon, jitto shiteru. Um, shiteru means to do, so it's doing jitto, which is a sound effect. Do you have any memory what jitto might mean? Is it like a stump? Kind of. Uh, to be stumped is a little bit similar to jitto. Um, specifically, jitto kind of has a, a, a meaning of stillness. And a lot of times it's used for if someone's just staring at you without blinking. They'll say jitto mitsumeru is how they'd say that. So it, mm. it's just, but specifically it's the sound effect of stillness. So you feel a little bit judged if someone's just still and staring at you without doing anything. You're a little like, ah! But right here, he's just being still. So he kind of like mm. freezes while after it came to um the bottom of the tree. Um, which tree are they at the bottom of? The kashi. Mm -hmm. So the evergreen tree. Yeah. Other information do we know about this tree? Uh three house no aru. So it's the tree house. Yes. It's a tree that has the tree house in it, basically. The tree where mm. the tree house is. That has is. tree house ga aru. Okay, so here's a newish kanji. This is shiro. What does oshiro mean? Um, oshiro. Oh, that sounds very familiar. It is. Very shiro familiar. is white. Oshiro is not white. So shiro, um... shiro as in white, has this kanji. It's a little square with a line in it with a little check mark. Boop, 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 boop. This is white. This shiro could be by itself to just be shiro, but most people add an O in front of it because shiros are fancy things. And, um, Castles, it seems like. Oh, uh, what? Castle. Yes. Shiro means castle. Shiro. Oh, shiro. Okay. Um, what's this word right here? Uh, um, oshiro. Hi. And what's this word? Uh, zukan. Perfect. So now I'm going to have you read the sentences. Here's our first sentence. Uh, nani ga okotta no ani ga. Uh, I want to say maida. That's a good guess. I, I, my, how would that be? Um, but this has to do with um. To, this means to ask, in um this context. Hmm. Kita. Yep. Kita. Nani ga okotta no? Nani ga kita. What does that mean? Nani ga okotta no? Um. So. So like, 
I want to say, what are you doing, Annie said? Hmm. That's a good guess. So, okoru doesn't really mean doing, but it does mean to happen. Um, It's a, it's like passive, kind of, okoru. Like, jishin, earthquakes, okoru. Or if a mm. volcano erupted, that would also be okoru. So, nani is what and ga, like you're correct. So, rather than what are you doing, it's what is happening? What is occurring right now? Do you know why a no is here? Um, Is it referring to something not really it's i mean it's it, it's it's insinuating that most likely annie is a girl so uh it just makes it more obvious who's talking so jack doesn't really ever end his questions with no because no is just very mm. very slightly feminine uh in today's world if someone ended with no, no one's going to really care that much. But in books and media, they still kind of keep that. This is a little bit feminine. So girls are more likely. Because otherwise, you could just say, kotta. That'd be um, how Jack would say it. Jack wouldn't even have the no. Mm. He just would have okotta. Um, there, are insinua- there are situations where no would show up. But this is de- that, that um, does have meaning. <laughs> but in this case, it's more just being a feminine marker. That's kind of all it's, what it's really doing. Um. <clears throat> so here's our next sentence. Nani ga okotan daro? Jack to ani wa. Um. Have I seen that kanji before? You have. It means um, face. Oh, kao. Yep. Kao. Kao. Oh. Mi awaseta. Hi. So mi awaseru. So this is a compound verb combining miru and awaseru. Awa- awaseru is basically to match something. So it's used to in compound verbs to mean two people are doing the same thing to each other. So we got Jack to Annie. What are they doing? They are what are they doing? Uh, are they are me? looking at each other. Yep, they're looking at each other. How are they looking at each other? Are they looking at each other's hands, their feet? Mm, their faces. Go. Exactly. And then who 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 said this sentence? Nani ga okotan daro? Sounds like Jack. It is Jack. Yep. And he basically said the exact same thing Annie said, but he ended with Daro, which theoretically is gender neutral, but it has a slightly like masculine connotation because it's gender because ne- it's a female thing you could have at the end, which would actually be Kashida uh, rather than no, would be the uh, thing because it's Daro. Do you know what Daro means? It's like ne, which is just right. Yep, that's right. It can mean that. In this context, it's more like the meaning of I wonder, which is why kashida would be the female component for it, versus um, mm. ne. But daro does mean ne. It depends on like how you're talking. Uh, in here, he's asking a question to himself, just like Annie says. Annie says, what happened? Like, what, what happened here? And Jack goes, I wonder what happened here, versus what did happen here? Sounds a little weird in this context, mm. but that all does have that meaning. You are 100% correct, but that's just a context um, difference, not a grammatical one. Um, and here is our next sentence. Actually, I'll have you do the whole um, speech. Yeah. Mm? Yep. Hi. Annie, what? Miete. Miete? Miete. Right. So Miete. it's mite ita. You're correct. It is mite ita. In Japanese, almost always this e will actually be deleted when people are talking. So we actually have a quotation mark here, uh, which is letting us know that Annie is talking right. I mean, not Annie's talking, but Jack is talking right now. Um, and he's talking about like Annie. But that's why the e is no longer here. Mite ita. It's a lot easier hmm. to say than mite ita. 
So yeah, the E just deleted. Did that, that all? Boku wa kono zukan no mitaita. So this daro is literally the daro you just told me five minutes ago that wasn't the daro over here. <laughs> so you see how no difference grammar wise, it's just context based. So what did Jack say? Uh, so Annie, the castle in the book that you saw, right? Yep. So, yeah, you were seeing, <laughs> in English, we probably say you were looking at. Mm. So, Annie, you were looking at the castle book, right? The book of castles. So, if a castle was in a book, it would have something different here. But it is a book about, it's a book of castles or castle book. Um, And then what's the next part he says? Boku wa kono zuka no miteta. So I saw the picture book. Uh, yep. That picture book. Exactly. Yep. I was looking at this picture book. I was sawing. I was sawing. Because <laughs> uh, that's why it's like not mita. It's miteta, right? Cause, so it's mite mm. ita. So we're, having that, we're adding that ing to it. So that's why I'm using looking. Because that's something we can actually conjugate. Sa would just be mm. miru, mita, right? Sawing. Mita. <laughs> I was sawing. But yeah, we just use a different verb in English. Um. So what does this say? Ah, uh, oni san ga. Oni san? Ah, oni san. Yep. Hai. Oni san ga. Sono. Hmm. Hmm. Sono. Oh, yeah, painting. I was yep. painting. Eh, eh, hi. Nice. So, no, eh, oh. Minagara, minagara, hon. Hmm. Evergreen tree? Good guess. Uh, no. This is a uh, mono, means thing. Hon mono. Hmm, mono. Hon mono no, putera don ni. Oh, the, uh, that was that. I literally saw that kanji today. And what was this kanji? Mm. It means to meet. Oh, my screen went black. Oh no! Oh, okay, I'm back. Hi. Mm. So, ao, but it's yep. now atte. Yeah. Mm. Atte mitai. <clears throat> What's this again? No, that's e. Yep. Itta no yo. Itta it's no not e. It, yep, itta. Nice. E. Hi. Oni chan, sono e o minagara. Honmono no putera din. Ah, uh, putera don ni atte mitai. Te itta no yo. So, who do you think was talking here? We got some no's and we got oni chan. Uh, this no isn't that feminine though. <laughs> but, mm. Who who's talking here? Must be Annie. Yep, it is uh, Annie. So who's she talking about? She is talking about the putterado. She's actually well, she kind of, but the subject mm. of the sentence and kind of the topic as well is Oni Chan, the big brother. So the big brother was Eo Miru. What does that mean? Looking at the painting. Yes. So he's looking at that picture, Nagara. Do you know what that tells us? At the same time. Yep. At the same time as Iuing. What did he eat that? Iuing. Um, what did he eat that? Uh, the picture, not the picture. What was he looking at? Oh, uh, no. What does Iu mean? You, you to say something yes. to utter. So then we have this right here, te, which is do you know what te is telling us? Is it the ante? It's actually it 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 is I don't think te 
like that ever actually means and. I think you're taking about um te form as and. This te is a colloquial form of to, which is quotation to. So this is what right here is in quotation marks because this is what somebody used, is what someone said. So what Jack said was, Honmono no putterada ni atte mitai. What does that mean? Honmono no putterada ni atte mitai. So match the real putterada. Exactly. I want, I want. That's what the mitai means. Specifically, te mitai means I want. Um, I want to try meeting a real putradan. Nice. So this is a new kanji character. This is kaze. Mm. What does kaze uh, mean? Kaze. It means wind. Yep, kaze, wind. Okay, and this is going to be our last page before we switch. Um, what's what does this say? Hmm. So the so shitara, so shitara. Yep. So this is um Jack talking, mm-hmm. just context based. But what did Jack say? So the so yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. So shtara. Um, so shtara. sounds kinda, like that. Yeah, it's like and then basically so shtara. So that happened, and what happened uh, after he said that? Pteradon. So the real Pteradon, Araware, Araware Danda. So like, Araware sounds something to do with flying up or down. That's a good guess. Um, that'd be like up and up would be like ue or something like that. I think I think ageru, and flying is tobeiru. But Araware da means to appear. To appear. Mm, I appear. So what appeared? The real the homono puteradon. When did it appear? What did he do right before it appeared? He was flapping or gliding down. So... Uh sadly no. Uh I mean no, um... he 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 appeared first. The thing that happened before it appeared is that <laughs> Jack said, I wish I could meet a real puteradon. So he says this, and then it says soshara. So right after he says that, a real putradon appears. Is uh, mm-hmm. thing. um, and then what's the next part? Ah, uh, kyo ni. Ah, uh, soshite kyo ni. Oh, hi. Soshite kyo ni. This is the new word, which was kaze. Hi, kaze ga. Huh? Kaze ga. Tsuyoku na. Yep, perfect. So our first thing is that What does that mean? Good guess. That's um kino. Would be yesterday, and kyo would be today. Kino. But kyo means suddenly. Kyo ni. What happens suddenly? Kaga. So suddenly wind. Mm-hmm. What about the wind? It tsuyoku ni Tsuyoku ni So it became strong. Exactly. Suddenly the wind became strong, and then what happened to the tree house? It mawari hajimete. Mawari hajimeta or de. Hmm. Mawari hajimete. Mawari. Marui? No, that's something else. That's that's close. Um, Maru is circle and ma. I don't know what Marui means. <laughs> but it, it is related to circles. Hmm. Mawari. Mm. Um. Um, so it became yeah, it started to go in circles. Yeah. Tornado? Yep. Mawari means to turn around. And guru guru is a sound effect for rolling, basically, going around around. 
So it be, so the treehouse mm-hmm. begins to spin. Guru Guru Mawadi. And then what happened? What happened? Umatara, Umatara, Kokoni, Kokoni, the train bus thing, Kanji, Deta. Hi, uh, this is a uh, key. Kiteta. Ki. Kiteta. Hi. Umatara, Kokoni, Kiteta, Kiteta. So first off, mm. the spinning tomatoes. What does that mean? So the spinning stopped. Yes, and when that happened, what happened? Koko ni kita. Koko ni kita. After that, koko ni kita. Um, this place koko ni kita. So appeared. So appeared as ara wa do kuru, which became kita, means to come. So it says, once it stopped spinning, we came here. Or in other words, once the spinning stopped, we are in the new location. We're koko. And then what's the next part here? Tomatara koko ni kiteta kiteta wa ani wa jack no kotoba o kura no kuri kuri kai shita. Hai. Kurikaisu means to repeat, basically. So who said tomatara koko ni kita wa? Who said that? Sounds like Annie. It is Annie, yep. And they actually say that right over here. Annie wa jaku no kotoba o kurikaisa. So Annie returns what? Jaku no kotoba. So Jack's speech. Yep. Annie repeats what Jack was saying. Jack's words. And what did Annie say anyway? Mm. Tomatara. So tomatara kokoni akitata. So um stop, don't come here. <laughs> so tomaru means to stop. But the thing but to if you're telling somebody to stop, that's tomeru. Um but tomaru means um something is stopping on its own um volition basically. The thing that's tomaruing mm. is the tree house. Tree house ga tometara. So when in this context, when the tree house stopped, what happened? When the tree house stopped, ani wa jack no. when the tree house when when the tree house stopped, koko ni kita wa. Koko ni kita wa. So this place came. Yep. Specifically, it's more like Annie and the treehouse came. So when the treehouse stopped, it came here, and there and Jack and Annie are in the treehouse. So that is where we will be pausing. Hi. Um. So then now we're gonna do the switcheroo.